what's up guys look what i just found i came here to do more pennies because they close tomorrow at 5 p.m and that's all i can get because they've taken all the gain already so i got these vitalizer toothbrushes with the soft on the tip for one cent and what i did was i started scanning and then i read this and i saw it said vitalizer one count and i saw right here yeah it was in the wrong spot vitalizer one count so they were all mixed in with these this um kind right here what is this cross cross action they were all mixed in like a cross action and a vitalizer cross action and a vitalizer so make sure you guys are looking through everything can you hear me i look through all of these all right see how cross action is over here and it shouldn't be so if those are the penny people would have missed the cross action because they're supposed to be over here well there's two different kind but you get what i mean and then um, I scanned, well I didn't scan these dollar ones yet, I need to, but I scanned almost everything else except for the toothpaste. It was just too much toothpaste to scan right now and I could be missing something. Um, then I did just look for the Tom's Kids toothpaste and it says 50% off, um, but I don't see any of the Tom's Kids toothpaste up here. But that's another way you guys can look when you have a remodel. Just because they've pulled everything with the 50% off tags doesn't mean there's nothing else. I mean, you can look for those items too, but also scan everything. But, you know, to make it easier for like newbies, look for that Tom's toothpaste because it could be sitting right here. Even though it says it right there and they just pulled all the ones from right here and didn't look anywhere else to see, oh, is there somewhere else? I mean, some more somewhere else. They don't think like that. And I walked down here and I was like, oh shit, there's more toothbrushes here. So I always look everywhere, guys. Because they can be literally all over the store. They have different, what is that one turned around right there? They have different areas. Oh, I'm going to put these on the floor for a minute. Where um, like different items are. Oh, that's cross action. See what I mean? So if we were looking for cross action right now, that one would have been missed too, probably. But not with me, because from the beginning, and not trying to sound like a hothead, from the beginning when I started penny shopping, I would search like this. High, middle, low, under, um, on top, everywhere. I look literally everywhere. And I definitely scan, um, stare at the end caps. Because people forget about these. Like they'll get off an aisle, turn, and just go straight down here and forget about the end caps stuff like that and so yeah I didn't scan much today guys so I'm sure I'm missing a lot of pennies I'm probably walking right by some but you know you can only scan so much and for so long um so yeah but I don't think there's any toothbrushes anywhere else in this store if I'm not mistaken oh I'm gonna go back and scan those um dollar toothbrushes but yeah I think that's about it the earrings those were 50% off because it doesn't have the tag but you see it was ripped off right here but um if it has the X that's something you can look for and that's how you drop silver one count you know what I mean so just look at tags like that and then you'll, it'll be easier to find items that way so let me get away from this music Okay, so of course I came to check the dumpster. There was nothing in the dumpster. And I'm walking back to my car and I just stop and I look right there and I'm like, I started walking fast. I'm like, is that paper plates? Yes, this is paper plates. A candle earrings. What is all this? They stash and shit. Can you hold these paper plates, Mario? Maybe one of them homeless people came over here. Is this diapers? What is all this shit on it though? And I don't have any gloves, but that's okay. Diapers. Oh, pull-ups. It looked like flour or something is all over it. That's okay, I'll risk that. For pull-ups, I need those. Uh, yeah, like shit spilled all over it. I don't know 
brought any snacks, no food. I guess they put the bags over here to go through it so they wouldn't get caught. That's what it looks like, right? Just pick them up like that and put them in the um, trunk. Q, say hey. <laughs> this candle's broke. Yeah. Here's some earrings. Should I still get this candle? Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells good. It's broke. I don't know. Somebody told me I can like break the rest of the glass and put the candle in something else. I'll do that. Come on. So yeah, that's what that looked like, guys. Like somebody got the bags out of the dumpster and went over there on the side and tried to open up the stuff. But I hate that they kind of like made a mess. Open that up for me. Look at all those people over there. Push my stuff back. Right. Yeah, so I just ran into someone um, Well she just subscribed to my channel But she named a few people that she was subscribed to Don Deals, Short Mama Coupon Greg That Dude um, Who else you say? Uh, I forgot Coupon It With Star was the first one she said And I was like oh you got Coupon It With Star You follow her And I was like Coupon It With Star trip So I ain't gonna put her on camera I'm gonna just show y'all her feet So she here I ain't just making up nobody Look she's talking about hey <laughs> Yeah, she just got off work and she got some. Yeah, she's doing a 5 out 25, y'all, with these big, huge game things. But yeah, with the small. I'm a beginner, so. Yeah, she's a beginner, but she going to get it right if she watching y'all and me. Okay? So, all right, y'all. Yes, yes, definitely. Y'all look at her receipt. She did it. $7.65 for game. And she got toothpaste and some gum. Those were filler items, y'all, to pay for all this. This is $13.50 by itself, and she paid $7.65. You go, girl. Thank you. You're welcome, darling. Y'all, so I just checked all these dumpsters, and now I'm at Dollar Tree. I don't know if somebody got put out for their personal stuff, but I got these work boots um, or rain boots that was sitting on top of this chair right here. This is actually a nice, decent couch. You guys can't see because it's dark. It's fabric softener. Fabric softener where? On this side. Um, a whole bunch of these air fresheners, but a lot of them are bust open. And they smell really good. So I'm about to get these. We already got a couple. Where the other, where the other ones? Where the air fresheners? I'll put the stuff there. And are you going to stand here with me? What is the stuff in the can? Oh, the Suavitel. Oh, it's a few of them. Okay. Y'all, I'm going to stop the camera because I need to jump in. It's dark and I don't want to get told I can't be here. I'll be back. What's up, YouTube friends, family, associates, and subscribers? Okay, I'm kind of late with this video, but it's okay um, because I still wanted to show you guys my penny items. Um, now it is, let me see. Uh. Well, it's 10.53 p.m. Um, where I am right now. Don't worry about the dirty carpet, like the lint and stuff everywhere. But um, I still wanted to show you guys this video because as you saw in the beginning, I found some penny items. Um, and then on Saturday, I went in to look for more penny items before my store closed today. They closed at 5 o'clock p.m. today to remodel. So there's no more looking for pennies. They actually shut down today for a remodel. So last week was really fun. I missed maybe two or three days, but I'm happy with what I found. I think every day I went, I found a little something. So um, I even rode through the parking lot. I seen all the workers sitting out front as if they were on break or something um, about six o'clock or maybe, no, it was a little after five. And I was gonna check the dumpster, but they had like the wooden trusses all in front of the dumpster and carts and stuff. So I couldn't even get to the dumpster if I wanted to. But um, I will be checking it maybe tomorrow or the next day to see if they're throwing away anything good while they are remodeling. But anyway, so as you saw in the beginning, I found these Oral-B toothbrushes and it was the Vitalizer kind right there. And, um, you guys saw how I found them, so I don't need to explain that. So let me just show you the receipt. And remember, this was a remodel, so these will not be a penny at every Dollar General. But if your store is remodeling soon, 
remember always go a week before they are actually closing see my store closed today for remodel and they won't open back up until thursday so i went penny shopping all last week since last sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and um today but i didn't go all of those days like i said i missed two or three days but i'm just giving you an example if your store is remodeling um always start penny shopping the week before and scan every single thing in the store so these are some of the items that i found for the past few days you guys see my remodel penny hauls you can look for these same items i would go to these items first some of them will be the same some of them, some of them won't if you saw my last video you saw that i got the big tub of elmer's glue in one store for a penny and it was a remodel and then i went to another remodel and the elmer's glue was full price but i did get some of the same items like the candy was the same um i got some underwear that was the same i didn't get a chance to go check the toothbrushes at the other remodel because it was too far out but uh yeah some of the items will be the same so there's my total subtotal four cents and i paid four cents okay if we had two um, coupons for these, which I don't know, we probably did, and I just didn't even type in my number, I would have had overage. I always forget to type in my number when I'm penny shopping. So, um, I think, let me show you guys the little dumpster haul. Oh, yes, it looks all nasty, um, but these were wiped down with Clorox wipes. Alani actually had on gloves and wiped them down for me. So, paper plates is always good. The Depends underwear. Um, for women will be donated and these I will be taking them all out the pack and putting them in a ziploc bag I'm not going to donate them looking like that but I just want to show you guys how it looks um it looks like it's a little open right there so I don't know I gotta look and see but pull-ups I can always use now with the 5 off 25 I'm going to show you um <clears throat> my first receipt I purchased six suave items and my apologies, I cannot show you guys the um, not the receipt, but the coupon because the coupon expired on Saturday and I used all of them. And those were given to me. I had five of them and I used all of them. Okay. So, um, did I have five? Because it was one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I had five coupons. All right, and they were buy one, get one free, so that's why you see 10 items here, okay? So, um, it was real simple. These were $5 a piece. I gave them two. Anytime you have buy one, get one free coupons, you need to give them two, then a coupon. Give them two, then a coupon. Yes, your total is going to look like it's under 25, and they're going to say that, because I think he told me, he was like, okay, after the coupons. I didn't let him press total. I said, please don't hit total after you scanned my um, three coupons. So I gave them two, then a coupon, two more, then a coupon, and two more, then a coupon. <clears throat> and I said, please don't hit total. Well, this was a woman at this store in this transaction. And I was like, what's my subtotal? But just please don't hit total. I always have to keep reminding, because sometimes when you ask what's your subtotal, they hit total thinking they have to hit total for your subtotal. But when they hit subtotal, um, well, when they hit total, that gives you your total after taxes. So I was like, please don't hit total. Just read the screen um, and let me know what my subtotal is. And I think she said $14. So I went on ahead and I hit digital coupons and I typed in my number. After you type in your number, then they can hit total. So my 5 off 25 did come off along with my um, store coupons, which was, I think it was like spend $10 on any Suave products. You get $3 off. And I think there was another one, spend 10, get $2. I'm not sure. Um, but this was my total. And you can see everywhere where the $5 came off, and that was the free, because all of them are $5. So I bought one, got one free, bought one, got one free. My subtotal was $1.02 for six Suave products, and I thought that was amazing because we use these products. Ever since these products came out, I've fallen in love with them. Um, I wish I could have found more of the jar, because this is the leave-in conditioner. Um... Let me see. This one you have to rinse. And I actually didn't know that. I'm, that's probably why Lonnie's hair was so hard. I had to read it. And I was like, wait a minute. This says, um, keep on for three minutes, I think. Directions. And results. Oh, do not rinse. Okay, so which one? That says curl defining. It was one of them. It's not the detangler. 
I think I may have put it back. That's the shampoo. It was one that looks like this, but it said um, I actually had to rinse it out. And I was like, oh my gosh, I thought that was leave-in too. But um, yeah, I did that. And then I called another store because I went to seven stores, believe it or not. After this store, I went to seven other Dollar Generals. Seven, and no one had this product. The shelves were clean. So I'm assuming that everyone had those Suave coupons too. And they were trying to use them up before they expired because they expired Saturday, Saturday the same day as the 5 off 25. Um, so, yes, every Saturday, Dollar General will have a 5 off 25. You get $25 worth of stuff, you save $5. Yes, it says when you spend $25, you save $5, but we're not necessarily spending $25. We have $25 worth of stuff, though, because with the six products here, that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And that's, that's actually with five products. So um, that was an easy file off 25 with the store coupons and this, the savings or whatever else. So I did it again. And um, this time I went to this store and they had these on clearance. It said $5, but I told them um, the clearance section said 50% off everything in clearance. So they dropped it down to $2.50. And we had a $3 off coupon for Flintstone Vitamins. So that gave me 50 cent in overage, I guess. Then I got the free toothpaste with that $2 off um, digital coupon for Crest Toothpaste. Um, this one costs $2, so it makes this a free item. So you want to throw this in as a filler item to get your total up to $25, but you're really not at $25 if this is $2 and you have a $2 off coupon. You feel me? So sometimes we get items that we don't really need or want, but it's to pay for the items that we really want, if that makes sense. So that's what the Flintstone Vitamins was for, but my kids actually take these. And the toothpaste. We have so much toothpaste and razors and stuff like that we get. I also just grabbed three cards. These are not the original cards I had. The section said two for a dollar, right? But they were all big and fancy cards. And it was three different sections said two for a dollar. But those were bigger than these. So I get up there and they all ring up for a dollar. So I had to just go pick up three. And I didn't care which three. I just picked them up. Um, because we have a dollar fifty off store, dollar general store coupon. A dollar fifty off three. But it says when you um, buy three cards uh, at a dollar or more. But these are two for a dollar, so they're 50 cents each. But with that dollar 50 off, it makes these free. But with Dollar General Store coupons, for some reason, it does not give us free items. So it'll make these one penny each. But I don't know if that came off. I think a total of $7.97 in store savings came off this receipt. But I'm not going to complain um, because if that that transaction came up to a dollar and something i'm not sure how this one came up to two dollars and something when i had overage and free items and this was also a penny item that i found at that store a little headband with some scrunchies and there's the upc number 9493 and this was not a remodel so this is a regular penny item so if you find this with the last four um numbers matching this 9493 grab it always scan it still but it should still be a penny okay at any dollar general um but yeah with the flintstone vitamins you see right here it said the regular price was 630 um they had the price override it didn't even ring up at the clearance price which was five dollars and they had like 10 of these and all of them had the clearance price of five dollars on there it rang up at the regular price 630 they price override it for 250 my digital coupon did come off for three dollars so that means I should have had 50 cents in overage to go towards anything else. So he just, he manually did something. He changed one of these just to get my total down. I was going to pay the three something because it was like three something with tax. But um, basically I still did. I paid three dollars, but it was 204 and I still can't complain because I got Flintstone vitamins. Um, I got three cards penny item I won't count I got toothpaste and I got one two three four things of suave professionals for natural hair that I actually use so I am grateful so guys yeah that's my haul right there um, my pennies oral B toothbrushes that's a nice penny score guys four cents one penny a piece I love it I love it I love it and my little ugly dumpster dive haul but um, much needed items that people can use so I'm happy with this little haul. So guys, thank you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please tell a friend to tell a friend about Shade with the receipt so they can subscribe as well. 
Um, and please comment below if you have any questions and I will answer them to the best of my ability. And also comment below and engage with me. And tell me what you think about my work that I'm doing here on YouTube. If you appreciate my work and want to see more, guys, please um, click on the link below. I'm going to try to leave it in the comment section and or the description box to the link to my PayPal. So you guys can donate any amount. Any amount is much needed and appreciated. Um, please give the video a thumbs up and like it. If you dislike it, hell, give it a thumbs down. Um, what was I going to say? Please. Oh, and I don't have Alani in here with me, but that's okay. Please share, share, share if you dare, honey. And I will see you guys on the next video. I love you. And remember to watch those ads. Toodles. Mwah. Oh, I also wanted to say that I got tons of points back from um, Fetch Rewards for submitting my receipt to um, Fetch for the Suave products and the Flintstone um, vitamins. So please, I need some more people on my Fetch team. I'm going to leave my code somewhere in the description box and I'm going to um, insert pictures of the points that I got back from Fetch. So guys, please support me and join my Fetch team and let's get this money together, okay? Support me and support yourself. Come on, y'all.